What's going on YouTube? How y'all doing today? Hot as fuck again. Tired of these fucking hot ass bitches. Hey, I didn't tell you to start. Stop. Let me talk. Let me do my shit first. And tell them the fuck I'm working on. All right, I got a 2008 Chrysler, town and country. This video, I'm gonna show you guys how to replace the right front caliber and the hub bearing. Well, I'm deciding on if I should do part one or part two, but first, I'm gonna replace the hub bearing first. So, this young whippersnapper, what was you about to do since you wanna rush it? You about to do what? How you gonna take the caliber bracket off? You can't even see. Get you some goddamn light. Hold on. See, it takes for me to tell you young motherfucking shit like this. All right, so what you about to do? Why are you taking the caliber bracket off? Take the fucking caliber bracket off. So he about to remove the caliber bracket. Remember, I'm doing a, oh, 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 wait, wait. Remember, this, pay attention to these steps. This is how you take the uh, hub bearing off. So it's similar in different year makes and models. So, go ahead. All right, you got the bolts off. Um, get a, go get a pry bar. All right, so, no, wedge it up in here. Catch the caliber. Not budging? All right, let me show you a trick. See this, let me see. I wanna put the piston back in. Y'all hear a vacuum cleaner going off in the background? That's our detailer. I work in the shop, so it's gonna be shop noise all the fucking time. So, but I'm gonna talk louder. So, you could somehow. Shit, what the fuck, man? Hold on. Now try it. Okay. All right, hang the collar up on my uh, yep. Go get some zip ties. You know where they at? Hang it right here. Put that part in between the uh, two, the inner and outer pads right here. Hang it in here. Yep, just like that. Go get your zip ties. All right, my man got the zip tie on there. Just cause we don't want the fucking caliper to fucking fall and then you break the fucking brake holes and now you gotta fucking pay more money. You lose money on the fucking job cause you fucking shit up. We ain't fucking shit up on this, John. So go ahead, continue. Cause you got the caliper bracket off. Next, you're gonna take the rotor off. Take the rotor off. Son, get a hammer. Babe, you, 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 come on. You're working too fast, son. All right, get some BB blaster. You already put some BB blaster on it? We ain't get up in there? No, I didn't get up in there. Got the rotor off. Sean, gonna remove the axle nut. So take like a 32 millimeter socket. Cause you got that fucking electric impact. All right, next, Sean, get your axle nut. Uh, thread it up. And get it in a position for hammering. Stop. As long as you get the face of it, the uh, the axle. Hammer it out. Son. If you're having a hard hard time getting the, uh, the outer joint to, to come out, take some PB Blaster and spray it between the spines. So, you heard what I said. Thread. All right. Still got the fucking shop vacuum on. Whatever. All right. So. Let me get behind this fucking setup. All right, see right here. Okay, this is the axle. This is the fucking knuckle, spindle, whatever the fuck y'all want to call it. Now, for the hub bearing, there are four bolts. One, 
two. See a third one right there. Then let me come around. That top one right there. Four. Grab your this is fucking Chrysler. It looks like a fucking 15. So grab a a 15. I have a shot. I have a uh, thin wall deep one. All right. So the size you're gonna use. I said it again. 15 millimeter. Um, you can use a long ratchet wrench with a 15 deep on it, whatever, 15, shallow, doesn't matter. He has a ratchet wrench, long one, long as shit one. Now, you won't be able to get the head for the ratcheting part on it, but at least you got this part. So go ahead and break that free. Flip it around. Start high. No, like your angle. So if you... I gotta push the axle back out something to get it on flush. Push it out with your hand. You don't need a hammer. There you go. Now try to put the wrench on. I mean a wrench. Flip it around. Make sure it's on there flush. Just break it free. A few turns. Go to the next one. So we're gonna um, use an impact. If you can't get it on, push the axle back. There you go. Speedy, son. Come on, hold on. Let me let me do my thing. Take this dust shield off. Okay, next little cousin. Um, he's gonna do is since I had him take the uh, dust shield off. I'm gonna remove this wheel speed sensor right here. So make sure you get like an, uh, an Allen bit or something, whatever the fuck you want to call it. That's what I call it. So that's what the fuck it is. So um, let's get that in there, back it off. Now these, they like to be seized in there, rusted. Um, be careful. Do not fucking lube this up with anything. Do not let anything hit this fucking wire. These fucking will speed sensors are fucking sensitive. So just be careful. So if it don't come off, just try to wiggle it. If you can't get it off, then... We have to order a new one. They relatively cheap to buy. So, question. no problems all right stop next we're going to get i like to use an air hammer for this part all right, so i got my air hammer i can't even talk air hammer and uh chisel part for it so next on a just pretty much the seeds in there so this is like the easiest way to get it the fuck out so get up in here
the reason I'm replacing this, I gotta fucking talk loud because it's fucking loud ass air compressor on. The reason I can wait, replace this is because it produces a loud humming noise when you're accelerating. So the faster you accelerate, the more high pitch it gets. This is bad, no need to talk about it. There is a fucking washer right here. Do not fucking lose this. This goes for the uh, axle right here. So keep that in there. Um, grab you some uh, PB blaster, shot towel, whatever. Um, clean all up in here. This is why I couldn't come off in the first place because that had all this fucking corrosion built up in here. So clean this shit off. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that's right. If you can't get it, get it off, get a wire brush, scrub up in here, loop it up a little bit, whatever grease you, you got, and that's it. While he's cleaning that up, I'm going to uh, show you guys the new hub bearing. This is it. Aftermarket hub bearing. Got this from my local parts store for X, Y, and Z. I don't remember the numbers, but... They always give you instructions and special safety warnings and all of that other shit. Um, comes in a bag. Oh shit, damn. We didn't have to take the ABS, I mean the oil speed sensor off because it already came with one. God damn, they fucking nice and shit. All right, so this is what it looks like. Hub bearing, this is a bolt on unit. Um, some cars, don't get like a bolt uh, bolt on setup. They gotta like press it out with this uh, type of bearing right here. I got the race bearing in there. Um, that's gonna be a different video. One day I'll show you guys how to press on bearings. So um, that's that, hey, cousin. Go ahead. Can't believe they fucking did that to me. I should have fucking opened the fucking new box. I would have saw that it was a fucking speed sensor in there already. Dumbass. So, match them up. Match them up first. Make sure they, they look right. Let me see. They look identical. They Gucci. Yeah. Now, um, some of these got like a little... Actually, it goes on one way. Looks right. Now, your will speed sensor is on this side. So, put mount the, um, the hub bearing that way. Ready to tighten them now. Flip it over. Flip it around. the fucking um the old wheel speed sensor took the old one off putting the new one on it's pretty much straightforward follow those fucking grommets and shit route it right with that bracket so you gotta take something off yeah and then uh, we're gonna plug that up to that connector right there Make sure your rotor is clean too. Get some brake cleaner because I know you was fucking touching this shit. Flip the see the other side. You look good? First, it ain't that damn good. This rotor is fucking scores a little bit, but just make sure ain't no dirt on it. No dirt on it, you're good to go. So you're pretty much reversing your uh, removal procedure. You got me touching shit with my fucking bare hands. I don't like that. Mm -mm. Go on my drawer. And get a green hammer. Uh, not the hammer, but the dead blow. Now I ain't gonna.
gonna sit here and film the whole thing because it's fucking common sense from this fucking point. So the job is damn near done except for I ain't test drive it. So I'm gonna shut it off. All right, he got it on. Caliper, caliper bracket, bolted correctly. Um, last thing to do, well, one of the last things to do. Where's, where, where's the instructions? Let me show this motherfucker. It was one more fucking yellow thing in here. It must have fucking fell. But anyway, these fucking boxes be coming with fucking instructions and shit telling you do not use impact wrench to tighten axle nut. Voice warranty. Bitch, fuck you. How the fuck you supposed to get it on there tightly? I ain't not doing that shit by hand. I'm black. I ain't no goddamn slave no more. So I'm gonna take that right there. Get the air gun. We're gonna do it anyway. Get, get the air gun. Yeah, you oh, doing what? Get the air gun. Nope, I, I don't want electric for this air gun. This is 600. Okay, tighten it. Fuck you, just tighten it. Hear <laughs> it? Wait. That's it, that's it. What the fuck you gotta do? So you fucking done. I showed y'all motherfuckers how to do a fucking hub baron and a 2008 Chrysler Town of Country. It does apply to the Dodge Caravan and similar Dodge Chrysler fucking products and shit. So that's it. I'm hot, I'm tired. What's your name? What's a little cousin? We done. Make sure y'all like my fucking video. If y'all don't like it, then fucking dislike it. I won't be fucking mad anyway. Fuck you. Well, not fuck you. I'm, I'm talking shit over here, right? Um, make sure y'all subscribe if this video was real helpful. Like I said, you can like it if you didn't like it. I won't be mad if you disliked it. And if there was something I missed out on, something I didn't mention, make sure you put it in the comments. You say whatever you want. That's what the comments are for. So that's it. Leak Auto Repair, Ghetto Slang here. I'm out. I felt like since I was up here talking shit in the video and you know, this type of shit happens, you know, with mechanics all the fucking time. You talk, you, you talk, you get distracted, you forget something. So, got to put the uh, dust shield, um, got to put the dust shield back on. And I only knew because, you know, you got to triple, I always triple check everything I do before I let the car fucking go. And part of my triple checking, I saw that I forgot the fucking shield. So now I got to put this shit, take everything fuck off and put it the fuck back on. So, let's get this shit back on, cousin.